Okay, now say that you uh, have a, either a Linux machine at home or a Mac or you want to connect your Matrix account and pull and push repositories from GitHub to your Matrix account um, not to do FTP anymore. So you essentially put your work on GitHub uh, and when you want to submit it through submitter program you simply pull it from Matrix account and you do the submission over there from the repository. How do we do that? Uh, so this, if you have a Mac account or, your, or a Linux box at home and um, you want to do your um, git commands through command line and still be authenticated using uh, an SSH key, this is the process and this is how you're supposed to do it. So for that, I have uh, created um, a demo account on Matrix. So I'm going to log into that one. Okay, so now in here I'm going to create a directory op244 for my works, cd op244. And let's say on my GitHub account I have a repository. So uh, let me go to your repositories. And in here I'm just going to create a new repository. And I'm going to call that test uh, repo. I'm going to make it private and add a readme file to it and create the repository. And in the readme file, I'm going to say testing one, two, three, and save that. So that's the repository that I have on Git. And I want to be able to pull this repository uh, on Matrix using an SSH key. So what would I do is this first? Uh, you have to uh, generate a key. So what you need to do is to type this command. Uh, I'll put the commands in the description of the, um, of the video so you can actually copy from there. So the command will be ssh dash key gen dash T E D two five five one nine dash capital C and then in double quotes you put the email ID you created your GitHub account uh, as primary uh, email ID of your GitHub account. So in this case it's at Roima at my Seneca.ca. So double check it ssh keychain dash t ed25519 dash capital c and then the email address and then you hit enter now when uh, it, it asks you uh, if you want to create the key in the yet.ssh file and this is the name of the key you can give it a new name you have to pull the full put the full path over here or you can just leave it like this remember this it is id underline ed25519 so i'm just gonna let it be by default and hit enter then it's ask, asking me to do a passphrase unlike what we have done on, on, on your on our personal computer if this is your mac computer or is linux box at home that is authenticated you don't need to do this but if you're actually doing it on matrix it's a wise idea to add a passphrase so if somebody gains access to your account they, ca they cannot copy your key and access your github repository so add a passphrase enter again add the passphrase again and it's going to create the key for you now you have the key on your matrix uh, account or linux box or whatever it is then what you need to do you need to add this key to your uh, identity for that first you have to uh, uh, start the uh, SSH agent uh, in a background. To do that, you type eval and then double quote, dollar sign, open parentheses, you write SSH dash agent dash S, close parentheses, and double quote. Let me double check eval 
double code dollar sign sshh dash s there you go as soon as you do that it's going to give you a program id agent pid and that's that that means everything's good and ready to go after doing this then you have to add the key you created to the ssh agent to to your identity so copy that uh, that key So you're going to copy that key that is right over here. I'll copy it. Then you're going to write over here SSH dash add and you put the key over there and you hit enter. OK, it's going to ask for the passphrase, the passphrase that you have it so it can be added. And there you go. Identity is now added. Now that we have the identity on this, we have to actually put this key on github so it can actually negotiate it with github when it's actually uh, pushing and pulling for that go to the directory that you have the key in if you look at it you have this id pub over here display that one so say uh, so type cat and put the file that says pub for public this is the public key for you copy that public key go back to your uh, um, um, github account go to settings as usual go to ssh and gpg keys and add the new ssh key so i'm going to call this one matrix demo one that's the key that I have over there. I'm going to paste it right over here and I'm going to say add SSH key. Now the key is added and it says never used. So if I go back to my GitHub account, I just want to go to a new one and I'll go to the repository. So I want to go to this test repo and clone it and see if it works. So I'm going to uh, click over here because now I have the SSH. I'm going to click on SSH, copy the path for the for the repository go to my matrix account go back to uh, the op244 directory now in here i'm going to say git clone and i'm going to put the path for the repository that i had in ssh hit enter it's going to it's going to ask it's um, uh, it's going to tell you that this key has never been used so it's going to actually add it to the list of known uh, uh, hosts you have to type over here yes as yes then it's going to go through it and you're done so now if you actually look at it you will see test repo over is over here cd test repo and that's the readme file so if i say over here cat readme.md as you see it's the one that we have now, if you add this one, you can issue all the Git commands over here. And um, the first time that you are doing it, it's going to ask for a passphrase. And then, um, 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 then it won't ask. But if you leave it dormant for a while, then it's going to ask for the, uh, the, key, the passphrase too. Um, and that's it. So like this, now your Matrix account is authenticated and, or your Linux bus or your Mac system is authenticated against uh, GitHub using an SSH key. Thank you very much. More videos to come.